As a leading expert in avoiding all forms of labor and hard work, I have grown fascinated with robot lawnmowers. Can they finally lead us to a utopia where we can get a decent looking lawn without putting any effort in whatsoever? Sadly, no, not yet. They're not made of magic. But are they at least better than pushing a lawnmower around your yard like a sucker? By the end of this video, we're gonna find out exactly how much time a robot lawnmower will save you each year. To find that answer, I'll be doing actual math. And to get a fair comparison, I even went and mowed my own lawn with my own two legs. So don't say I never do anything for you people. Our guinea pig for this little experiment, just aside from me, is the Genie 3000 robot lawnmower that's right behind me somewhere. Now I've been testing this for the past few weeks and it's from today's sponsor, Anthbot. The Anthbot Genie 3000 is a wire-free robot mower that uses RTK satellite positioning and four onboard cameras to map out and navigate your yard and mow around obstacles. It has an adjustable cutting height of 1.18 inches to 2.76 inches and can navigate slopes of up to 24 degrees. Now I've tracked all the time I spent on setup, operation, maintenance, and any other time sucks that have arrived using the Anthbot Genie, and I've also done the same with my push mower. So let's see how they compare time-wise, starting with annual setup and maintenance. Now if you have a gas mower, you're gonna have to deal with oil changes, air filters, draining fuel tanks, and a bunch of other hassles that take time. But for my electric mower, the only maintenance I have is to remove and sharpen the blade once a year. This took 27 minutes. And then I gotta change the battery every time and you're set. The robot mower is a little bit more involved. Before you can run the robot mower, you'll have to set up the charging station and RTK antenna and map out your yard. The Anthbot Genie makes this easy with an auto mapping feature that will have the robot follow distinct borders around your yard. But if the edge of your yard does not have a fence or road or something to distinguish it from your neighbor's yard, you'll have to map that part manually. You can also drive the robot around manually using the app controls to map out no-go zones and paths across sidewalks and driveways. It's a pretty slick process and took a little under an hour to map my yard. If you live in a place where you mow your lawn year round, you'll only have to do this once. But if you live in a state like mine where ice fishing is the number one hobby, you're gonna wanna take the RTK station in every year for the winter. Unless you permanently mount the RTK antenna on the side of your house, which isn't an option, you're gonna have to remap your yard every spring. So we're gonna factor that time into our annual maintenance of the robot mower. The only other maintenance you really need to worry about with the robot mower is changing the blades every once in a while. You gotta do this about every two, three months. So it's gonna take about four times a year you're gonna do this. Fortunately, it's a lot faster than taking off the blade and sharpening a traditional mower. It only took seven minutes to change all five blades, but we're gonna add that to our total. Well, so far the electric push mower is looking pretty good, but let's get to mowing day. Now in Minnesota, we mow about once a week from May into November, and that's an average of about 25 lawn mowings per year. I have a relatively large yard, as you can see, so my numbers may be a little bit high, but for just the mowing portion, that's from the time I start the mower till I end, that took me 57 minutes. But that's just part of the lawn mowing job, right? Like I spent nine minutes changing my clothes, finding my headsets, getting all that ready to mow my lawn. And then afterwards, you know, I'm tired, I'm a sweaty mess, so I need to rest a little bit, probably need a shower if my family wants to talk to me. There's another 25 minutes before I can do anything at all. And let's not forget trimming, right? You do that once a week, Fortunately, it's pretty easy for me. It was only six minutes, but I hate it. I hate it so much. So in total, from start to finish, we're looking at 97 minutes to complete the lawn mowing job with a push mower. Over the year, that is 2,425 minutes, or just over 40 hours. That's an entire work week mowing my lawn each year, and I'm not getting paid for any of that time. And that doesn't even factor in the half hour to, well, all day, basically, trying to convince myself to mow the lawn where I'm just sitting there angry and not wanting to do it. Just wasted time right there. Now let's compare that to the Anthbot robot mower and things are looking pretty good for our new robot overlords. Mowing the lawn consists of basically opening the app, selecting the settings, and pressing go. Now even if I do that three times a week, we're looking at a total of what, two minutes a time each week? The Anthbot also allows you to schedule mowings or even use their AI to schedule the mowing for you when it thinks it needs it and that's gonna actually save you those two minutes, right? But call me a control freak, I still prefer to just send it out myself when needed. Once the robot mower gets started, it does run itself. The Genie drives itself back to its base station when it needs to charge and when it's finished. And you can run it at night or when you're not home, so you're never gonna be wasting the two nice days we have each year mowing your lawn. Now, in a perfect world, that would be all I'd have to do with the robot mower ever. But the world's not perfect. And the Anthbot Genie, like most robot mowers, it does not trim your yard. And trimming is gonna take you a little bit longer after a robot mower compared to a push mower because the blades are farther from the edge of the mower, and the robot is a little bit more cautious than I am about rolling over my wife's landscaping, which is probably a good thing, but, but a once a week trimming after the robot mower took me about 12 minutes, so about twice the time. Also, when I'm mowing the lawn with the push mower, I just pick up the dog toys and sticks as I go, so it doesn't really 
add any additional time. But with the robot mower, it's probably a good idea to get out there and take a quick loop around the yard to pick up any large sticks and frisbees that might cause problems for the robot. Even if it doesn't mow over it, it's still got to mow around it and it's going to leave a, a spot, right? So I don't do this before every run of the robot mower, but once a week or so, I'll get out there and pick stuff up. That takes six minutes, so we're going to add that to our total as well. Now, one other thing you have to factor in for the robot that you never have to do with the push mower is rescuing your robot mower. Now, no matter what robot mower you have, it is occasionally going to get stuck. Now, as your robot learns your yard, and if you do a good job of mapping out your no-go zones and things like that, it's not going to happen very often. And what it does, it's not very difficult to free it. With the ant butt here, you just lift up by the handle, kind of drag it out from where it got stuck, and then you hit start again. It figures out where it is and goes back and resumes its, its routine. It only takes literally two minutes. I would say over the course of the summer, it's probably going to happen maybe 10 times. All right, so we're going to add 20 minutes to our total. So overall, for 25 weeks with the robot mowing three times per week, we're looking at a total of 520 minutes or less than nine hours of stress-free, sweat-free work to keep your lawn looking beautifully mowed all season long. Now, if you do have deciduous trees, you'll have to do a good job of keeping up with the raking for your robot mower to stay effective as the leaves fall in your yard. Robot mowers have no suction, so they're not going to chop up the leaves like a traditional mower will. Now, I'm not the kind of guy that's good at keeping up with pretty much anything, so I almost guarantee that I'm going to let the leaves pile up to the point where the robot mower can no longer mow the grass effectively, and it's going to get a little too long, and I'm going to have to mow it myself at least once at the end of the season. So I'm going to add another 97 minutes to the robot mower's annual total to cover for that. Even when you factor in that, and if we add in the annual maintenance for both the mower and for the robot mower to our totals, the robot mower is going to save us about 30 hours a year in time. Now that's seven bonus rounds of golf every summer. I absolutely love it, and I'm never going back to mowing my lawn again, except once in the fall when I forget to rake the leaves. But I do want to give you a word of caution about those extra 30 hours you're going to save for yourself each year. If you're not careful, the robot mower can take those right back for itself. If you've never had one, you can't understand how entrancing they can be to watch as they crawl slowly across your yard working their miracle. I probably spend at least 10 minutes a week just watching the robot go back and forth. It's kind of sad, but it's very zen, and it's something the dog and I both enjoy. Also, here's the other thing. The neighbors are going to ask about it. And I don't know about where you live, but in Minnesota, once a neighbor starts talking, there is no telling when it might end. Could be a minute, could be half an hour, you might find yourself five hours later manning the grill at a barbecue for their niece's baptism. You just never know. And my neighbors are great, it's been wonderful, but you've been warned. If you're interested in the Anthbot Genie Robot Mower, you can find an affiliate link in the description. Anthbot did sponsor this video, thank you to them, and a portion of any sale from the affiliate link does come back to help make this channel better and make me fabulously wealthy. I hope you enjoyed some of the information, found it informative, and get a robot mower, you guys. They are awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks for watching. This is a terrible idea. This is a terrible idea. Come on, you can stop. Yeah, that's a person. Good job. Good job, Anthbot. Yeah, you go do your thing. All right.